Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last part, we did some stuff. We got into the Aramis Springs, Guy rejoined us, and he somehow knows that St. Pina is going to fall, even though we never told him anything about it. Anyway, continuing through Aramis Springs. Do we have a scene here, or... No, okay. Anyway, uh, I know we have one right up here, though. Do you remember? It was after the kidnapping, so I guess it was right after you were born. What? Did something happen? I asked you if it was hard not having your memory. You said, you can't go forward if you keep looking back. So you didn't need a past. That's what you told me. <laughs> Man, I was stupid. I did not need one. I didn't have one. Actually, I thought it was pretty insightful. It is kind of insightful, actually. Oh, friggin' water bats, how dare you? How dare you interrupt me? Alright, here we got four water bats, just like before. They're not anything to worry about. So, I'm actually... Nah, these guys are pretty quick. I guess I'll just go ahead and kill them. So, yeah. Anyway, I could use... Uh, do I have guys' mystic art? I think I do. I'm pretty sure everybody had their mystic arts a long time ago. It's just that Luke didn't, because he needs story events to happen. Um, he gets his mystic art after you arrive in Yulia City, unless you get the... The thing in the ad, the grade shop, that lets you keep all your ad skills. Anyway, here we go. Right here we have a Cori Corinthus, these big lizard things. Um, these reappear in Tales of Symphonia 2, because most of these enemies reappear in Tales of Symphonia 2. Because that's where that game got its enemies, from this game. Um, these guys, they can't really do too much to you. They're basically just your standard enemy that really doesn't have anything too special up its sleeve. So, yeah. Where some enemies have magic, and they have nasty attacking combos and stuff, they don't really have anything. Um, yeah, that's really about it. They're nothing to worry about. Alright, ooh, we got TP recovery, and nothing else. Okay. I need to probably look at my capacity core setup, because I need more add skills. Alright, Panacea Bottle, not bad. Um, actually, I'm going to look, just for a second here. Alright, Luke's doing good, I guess. Getting more agility, enhancement. Right, dang, man, Guy does not need that. He really doesn't. Huh. You know, actually, I think I'm going to give that to Guy. I think I'm going to give him that. So let's see here. Um, I guess I'll just give... No. Needs agility. Let's see. No, 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 no. Monica, physical attack and Monica attack. Um, you know, I'm just going to give him Luna Tito, and I'm going to give you the Grandios. Because I need Luke to have good ad skills, because, you know, he's generally the one I'm controlling. Oh, whoops. Alright, come on, fire. Fire! Burn, baby, burn! Okay, ah, here we go. I think this is a Murfish. Let's see. Yep, it's a Murfish. Alright, these actually appear in Tales of Vesperia, which is kind of funny. They look a little bit better in that game, admittedly, but then again, a lot of things look better in that game. That doesn't make it a better game, though. It just makes it so that it looks better. And even then... Uh, am I the only... Here, let me ask you guys something. This is purely opinion, and it's not even anything to do with the gameplay or anything. What do you guys think of the art style of this game compared to the newer games? Like Tales of Graces, um, Tales of Zillia, which I really, really want to play and Tales of Asperia. What do you think about it? You know, I don't know. I don't... It's not that I dislike the games for it. I can't fault the games for wanting to advance in its graphics and such and its look, but I prefer this older art style to the newer one. I don't know. It's like, in the newer games, you can see everything move. It's like, almost too fluid. I kind of like some rigidity, and that's what she said. Um... Everything moves a little bit too much. Like, the girl's hair, like... F eh, hang on. All this must have been hard on you. I'm in no position to talk. Everybody died because of me. Part of that's my fault, though. You didn't have anything to do with it. I'm partly responsible for raising you from a blank slate to a selfish, spoiled kid. Huh? From the start, when you didn't remember how to walk, or didn't know, I guess, I was the one who looked after you. I've really learned my lesson. Anyway, um, the girl's hair, like, flows in the wind too much. Everything looks 
It looks almost too real. It looks like the art style is trying to become Final Fantasy, which I really don't want. Because these games are so much better than that game than those games. Crap. I really don't want these games to end up looking anything like Final Fantasy because I I openly detest all those games. So yeah. Anyway, um just killing some more enemies here. Again, watch out for the stone drops that these guys can spit out at you because they can they can kill you if you don't have stone bottles. They basically have an insta-kill move, so yeah. They give a lot of experience, so that's helpful, but yeah, it might not end up being worth it. <laughs> if you have no stone bottles and you have no panacea bottles, then just save often in here and yeah, just fight your way through it. Nobody can beat us. Good work. Just don't get too Alright, come on. I know. It's like nobody can beat us, but don't get too excited. I know, blah blah blah. Anyway. Another scene here, I think. Yep. How should I try to make up for Exerius? That's a difficult question. It's not something you can just apologize for. Yeah, apologizing is important, but it can be hard on the one you apologize to. Why? The greater the loss, the more people need someone to hate for it, you know? You might feel better, but the ones you apologize to can't just say, okay, no problem. Perhaps you should spend your life bearing that responsibility, never forgetting. No, that's too vague. Maybe I should never be happy. Now I know that's not right. Are you sure? I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be born. And then I destroyed Exeriuth. Okay, stop. Stop. No more of that. Hearing you talk like that is just annoying. Guy, Luke's thinking seriously about the issue. Just help people. Use the rest of your life to make everyone in the world happy. There's no way I can do that. I know that, you idiot. I mean, you need to put that much effort into it. Oh, right. I get it. I think. And even after everybody's forgiven him, kind of, or at least Guy forgave him, he's still, everybody's still just a little bit rough on him, but, yeah. It's to be expected after you just kill thousands of people, but whatever. Anyway, um, you want to go ahead and come up on here, um... Right up here, you can get, I believe it's an extra nimble rapier, let's see. Um, this area will actually be important later on for a side quest that is actually very important. Let's see here. Yep, no, 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 rapier. I am such a nerd. Alright, now, go ahead. Oh, we both have it. Okay. Well, then, that, that'll just get me some extra cash. So, that's fine. Anyway, um, walking through here, walking through here, trying to escape the sewer level, even though it's not really a sewer level. Did we get through the sewer level? I think we did. Yeah, we got through the sewer level. That was the, um, the abandoned factory. Hey, okay, frog. No, dang it! They have a big hitbox. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, now we're done. Anyway, um, this is where you need to go to get out, so we're gonna do that now. So, yay, we can finally get out of the Aramis Springs. After basically a full video in there, we can finally see what's outside. And it's a scene. Yay. Whoa! Jade? Oh, good. I was afraid I might have missed you. Colonel, what are you doing here? I have a favor to ask of Guy. He said he'd wait for Luke here, so I came looking for him. Me? Moses captured Ion and Natalia. What? Oh, Luke, you're here too. You got a problem with that? Not especially. Anyway, if we don't rescue them, there's going to be trouble. There aren't any Malkuth forces nearby, so I thought I'd ask for Guy's help. What do you mean by trouble? With the disappearance of Axeriuth, Kim Loska has begun making preparations for war. They probably intend to use Natalia's death as justification. That's right. The people of the Outer Lands don't know why Axeriuth disappeared. Ion was wary of this and returned to the Order to issue a decree. He was captured upon his arrival. Okay, Luke. We're going to rescue them. There's no way we're letting a war happen, right? Yeah. Should we head to Doth? Yes, that's the idea. 
In case you are unaware, Doth is southeast of here. I hope you won't get too lost or slow us down too much. Luke, it's not easy to regain trust once you've lost it. I know. Yay, so... Oh, hey, a harsh greeting. Well, well, I never imagined I'd be traveling with you again. I'm sorry about before. I won't do anything like that again. At least I'll try not to. I certainly hope not. Come on, Jade, remember when we all first met? Let's just take it easy. But too much has changed since then. Yeah, like Luke got a haircut. Yeah. Jade, surely you're not so warped as to enjoy teasing poor, troubled children. Well, at least I don't have to be with him for long. I guess I'll just have to manage. So much for taking it easy. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, let's see. I really hope you guys can't hear that. Like, ugh. We have a surprisingly loud smoke alarm down in our kitchen, and whenever we cook something in the oven and it smokes, it goes off for a while. So, yeah, I hope you couldn't hear that, but I think you might have. I think it actually picked it up. Anyway, Doth. You know, Doth may actually be one of the safest places in the world. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's the center of a religion based on the score. They wouldn't build that here if it was destined to fall, anyway. Indeed. Padamia used to be considered dangerous because of the Mount Zalejo volcano. But if the closed score foretold any danger, they would have undoubtedly chosen a different location. Come to think of it, how can volcanoes erupt in the Outer Lands anyway? Yeah, that is a good point. <laughs> I was wondering about that myself. Yeah, if the Outer Lands are just the crust lifted off the surface of the planet, then volcanoes shouldn't exist at all. That might be related to the Sephiroth trees. It may be that they send not only phonons to the memory card particles, but also some sort of planetary life force to the surface as well. That's some technology Yulia thought up. Not only Yulia, but her ten disciples and Dr. Southern Cross as well. Oh, well, they never go into Dr. Southern Cross at all. But actually, it's kind of a funny little reference because... I don't know if they really intended to reference it, but there's actually a weapon in Tales of Symphonia for Genus, your caster buddy, that is called Southern Cross, and I think it was actually made by someone called Dr. Southern Cross. So I thought that was really cool. There's actually quite a few really cool Tales of Symphonia references in this game. I've actually wrote them down and marked them so that I will be showing all of them, unless I forget one, in which I will be very angry at myself. Um, since we're at 13 minutes and we're pretty much almost done here, oh, wait, no, one, no, I actually did cut out a fight, so, and I don't get to cut out this fight, so yay, now we get to waste more time. These, oh great, so we got two, we have Blazets and we have Garm Wolves, I hate Garm Wolves, or Wolves, not Wolves, okay, Blazets, they're Firebirds, so yeah, crack out the form and Grills, and Wolves, they're basically just wolves that have fire resistances and then higher HP and attack than others. So yeah, it's pretty standard stuff here. It's just, you know, it's basically just sprite recolorings. Ooh, sweet, he got Thunderblade. All right, now, check it out. Ooh. Ow. Can anybody here type the word rape in a comment, please? I would be much appreciated. Anyway, Light Spear Cannon in a wind or light field of phonons turns into Light Blast. Kaboom! Die! Alright, anyway. Uh, sketchy chicken. Whatever, anyway. Um, now that we've done that fight, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off once we get to our next little destination here. Not Doth, but the place, like, right outside of it. So... Uh, here, let's do this. Right up in here. Here we go. Alright. Unless there's a scene up here. Here, let's see. I love that, earth. I love that world map music. Anyway, I think there's one right here. Yeah. Alright, after this scene, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off. Master! Is that Dot? I don't know. Is it? Yes. Ion and Natalia are likely being held inside that cathedral. 
Understandable, since those two hold the potential to stop the war. Mose won't want them to leave Darth. Can't we just tell my uncle about them being captive? Natalia's probably thought to have been killed in Exeriuth. I think that'd be difficult. Yeah, and Mose has the King's Ear, too. Let's help them ourselves. Annis is looking into things at the Order. Hopefully, we can find her in the city. I guess we'll have to look for her. Oh no, how will we find a tiny, annoying... Not annoying, how will we find a tiny, awesome, money-grubbing girl in a big city like that? Find out next time on Tales of the Abyss! See you guys later.